Hello, welcome to today's class. Today we have math or the third question. The question reads x, y, z equal to 192. Z is given to be 4 and P is given to be x plus y all over 2. In other words, P is uh, the average of x and y, right? Then we are asked to find the minimal possible value of P. Okay, the minimal possible value of P that will satisfy this question here. So how do we go about this? If you're new here, this is all I must TV. Do not forget to subscribe. So let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. So we take our solution first thing first. See arrow curve. So what we do here now, we take the first equation. In fact, let's take this as our equation one. And uh, this as our equation two, and this as our equation three. So from our equation one, we can put in equation two into equation one. So let's replace that. So this is going to give us here four bracket um, our x y. Then this is equal to one nine two. All we just need to do here is just to divide by four. Easy. So this this list. So we now have our x y. Is equal to this we give ourselves 48 right good so now we have this to be big so what we do here now from here we are having x times y is equal to b so okay easily use multiplication sign here so we bring out all the factors of this okay two of there that we will multiply together we give us our 48 so let's go ahead and bring that as to our x now y here, we now going to give us here. Let's look for the positive integers first. So this is going to give us here one comma forty eight. Okay, this eight list. Then next one going to give us two comma um twenty four twenty four. Good. Then the next one is going to give us a, a three and a sixteen. Right. So a three and sixteen. Then the next one. We give us um let's continue on this side so we're going to have a four and comma uh, 12 okay this will also give us 48 and the the next one we give us um six uh, and the eight yeah six times eight we give us that okay so these are, are the positive or the possible value we can simplify from this to give us our 48 so let's look at the negative side of it so for the negative we're going to have here to be minus one, the minus 48, right? Then here we're going to have minus two, comma, minus 24, right? Comma. Then we're going to have again minus three, comma, minus 16, comma. And then here we're going to have, um, we're going to have a uh, year minus four, minus 12, minus 12. Comma, then we're going to have bracket minus six, comma, minus eight, right? So from these factors here now, we go to our equation um, three. Let's get the minimum value of our x plus y all over the two. That is the average, okay? So let's continue on this side of the bird and get this straight down. So what we do here now to get the minimum possible value for our P here, which is this, then we substitute each of these into equation three. So let's take case one. So we're going to have here P, we now give us here X plus Y all over two. This is equal to, we're going to have here one plus 48, right? Here yeah, plus 48, so all over, Two. So this will give us 49 all over 2, which is automatically we give us, uh, this will give us 24.5. This is positive. Then we look for the next one, which is um, this. So we we'll have here x plus y all over 2. This will now give us here 2 plus 24. So we have 24. All over two, this will give us here yeah, 26 all over two, which automatically will give us 
13. Okay. Now, I want to believe that if we go down to this, this is going to give us 14 and 2 into 14 will give us 7. So definitely this will be decreasing. So no need looking for this, this, the average of this, 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 and the rest. So let's jump to our negative because we are looking for the minimum possible value of our P. So let's jump to our negative terms. So we're going to have here for the negative, let's take here P, then this all over 2. The first one, again, this is going to give us minus this. So we're going to have here minus 1, minus our 48 all over uh, 2 here. Okay, so this you know give us here minus 49 all over 2. And if we divide it, this will give us minus um 24.5. Okay, then if we go down again, so we have here a P, not P2. So our P we have here P S plus Y all over 2. So we take the next negative, which is this we have here minus. Uh, 20, sorry, minus 2, minus 24, all over 2, which is equal to minus 26, all over 2. So this is going to give us minus 13. Now, if you watch this carefully again, the last one here, this is going to give us minus um, 14, and 2 to 40 will give us minus 7. So definitely, since we are looking for the minimum, that is the lowest point, then this to give us our minimum point here okay so this guy gives us our minimum point so the minimum point of our uh, p therefore we cannot call as a minimum point of p okay is equal to the point where we have our x y to be um minus one and minus four so we have our x comma y which is equal to our minus uh, what do we have here? Minus 1, comma, minus 20, sorry, 48, minus 48, please, minus 48. So this is our answer. All right. So minimum point for our P is when our XY is at minus 1 and minus 48. All right. So again, so again, this marks the end to this math Olympiad, the India Math Olympiad Challenge. If you learned something from this video tutorial, do not fail, do not hesitate to give the video a thumbs up and also share our video content with other people. Remember, this is Online Math TV and we love you. Thanks for being there all the time. Bye for now till we meet you in our next video. But then keep winning. Thank you.